hello and welcome to this new video in this video I'm going to show you how to list all the tables in an Oracle uh, database we have three uh, types of uh, or three ways to list uh, the tables in uh, an Oracle database first of all we can list all of the tables in a database uh, using the DBA uh, tables table if the user you are uh, logging in to Oracle database with has access to the DBA uh, tables data dictionary view then you can use this query select owner table name from DBA tables so dba tables here is uh, a view a data dictionary view that can be accessed with sys or system user so if i run this it gives me all these uh, tables which which contains all the tables uh, that are or that belong to the entire database by the way here I'm connected to this demo database with my sys user okay so the result of this query depends on the user you are running it with if your user does not have access to the DBA tables uh, view it can still get the list of all the tables that it has access to using the uh, all tables uh, view so instead of this you can do select owner table name from all tables instead of dba tables so if we run this it still gives us a huge list of tables and this is because I am running it with the sys user okay and as you can see it shows me tables that are owned by the sys user or by the system user If I want to see only objects that are owned by the HR user, for example, I can say where owner equals HR. And as you can see, I am getting only the tables that are owned by the HR user. But if I run this query, query until this as the HRR user I will get only this without even adding the work clause because the HR user cannot see uh, the tables that are owned by the system or sys users if the user wants to see only the tables owned or created by him then you can do a query on the table called user tables so if I copy this again, paste it here, and instead of DBA or all, I put user. If I run this, it, uh, sorry, I cannot say uh, owner here, so I need to remove this. So this is the tables that are only owned by the sys user. It doesn't include the tables that are owned by other users. And again, if I run this as the HR user, I'm, all, I'm only going to see the tables that are created or owned by the HR user. I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you for watching.